Hello, YouTube friends. This is Richard Maybe with Richard Maybe Presents. Um, it is Thursday, January 11th, 2024, uh, about quarter to 12, quarter to high noon, <laughs> 15 minutes before high noon. And I'm in the garage and just kind of a, a, a kind of a reflection day. I, I, I have uh, just a little bit of yard work to do. I have to watch. I can't do too much, and uh, I'm gonna uh, clean the windshield of the clean the windshield of the car, windshields of the car, or, or the windows in the car, <laughs> and then uh, clean the inside of the car. And uh, we went to a car wash recently, so it, the outside looks still looks good. Um, and some miscellaneous things I have to do. Um, I still. <laughs> I still, my West Virginia hat, I still, I still have to fix it. And it's driving me nuts because, you see, it's only that little tab to anchor on. So, um, <laughs> I gotta fix my West Virginia hat. Uh, and I still have to put this tablecloth on the desk in my garage, um, aka car table. I still have to do that. I, Got that on the list to do. So a lot of things I got to get done. Um, and do some yard work. Clean the windows in the car. Clean the inside of the car. And maybe do a little yard work. Pick up branches and that kind of thing. I got to watch. I can't do that. <laughs> now, um, this Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, bright and early in the morning, I have to go to the hospital, get two stents put into my right coronary artery going to my right ventricle and uh all fun and games <laughs> it's like oh never a dull moment uh rod stewart did an album in it about it in 19 bing 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 1972 the summer of 1972 it was right after every picture tells a story Okay, I got. So I'm gonna go through my Tom. Some, 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 some of my Tom and Jerry comic books from the Golden Age. Now, the Golden Age is basically the 1950s. So these are old gems. Uh, my dad bought all these, and my dad loved comic books as much as I love comic books. So I can't. It must be in the genes, you know. <laughs> so I still. Have, I got them in my poly bags with the white backer boards. I got to open them up. Tom and Jerry here. I love this cover. <laughs> it cracks me up. This <laughs> this Jerry. He's up top. He's he's hiding under the, the snowman's hat, and he gets he gets a Jerry with a snowball. So let me let me find out what the. It's kind of fun because I'm kind of in the moment, uh, getting the, the getting the issue number and the month and the year and all that kind of stuff. So I decided. Big news, I'm, I'm gonna sell some, 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 some. <laughs> some of my comic book collection. Now they have this big, uh, out on Highway 301 in, uh, uh, what's the name of that town? Um, it'll come to me. <laughs> um, where's that town? Well, anyway, um, out there on 301, just south of Sumterville, Somerville, Summerfield. So, okay, Tom and Jerry, here's the deal. If you ordered a, a year subscription to Tom and Jerry, you got this little um, puzzle game. And this is what they use. This is the same principle as that... Uh, IQ thing they have in Cracker Barrel. So Cracker Barrel, you weren't the first to think it up. <laughs> Dell Comics was. I got a bit of a cold here. Um, this is volume. This is number 127, February 1955. I was a year old. <laughs> yeah, Dad loved these uh these old Dell comic books. I'll tell you, they're the great, great comic books. They're only a dime. I don't know if you can see it. Only a dime. So, 
All right, I got another Tom and Jerry here. <laughs> it cracks me. This cracks me up, this Tom and Jerry. There's a, there's Tom. He's eating his corn. <laughs> and there's Jerry and Pixie. Uh, yeah, they're, they're on the bottom of the corn. He's wondering what's happening, you know? So uh, it cracks me up, these Tom and Jerry. So I, I got it in the, the poly bag with the white backer board. And uh, let me see. This is a 10 center, golden age from the 1950s. And let's see, ooh, tricks. Tricks are for kids. Old tricks ad. When I worked for the ad advertising agency, all through the entire ad agency, in the big the big um, lunchroom, the, not big, it was medium size, oh, small. The lunchroom and in the hallways, they had old, ads from the 1950s and i remember this is one of the ads they had this this ad for tricks so this is uh number 152 march 1957 so march 57 i was three years old <laughs> my, whole, my whole comic book collection circles around how old i was this is tom and jerry 117 april 1954 now i did this about 20 years ago no wait I did this in the, no, 90? It's like 1990. So it's a 1990. Is it, uh, 2010, 20? I graded these like 32 years ago. And this is like, a, this is very, very fine. So this comic book's worth about 20 bucks. Actually more now. That was that was 30 years ago. So yeah, I, lo I love these Tom and Jerry's. They crack me up. So Tom and Jerry, 117. I can't, I get a kick out of looking at the ad in the back. <laughs> oh, license plates. Wow. So for 25 cents, you got 12 license plates. Now remember, this is from April 1954. April 54. I was not even a year old. But you would get for for twenty five cents or a dollar, you get the whole forty eight for forty eight states. Remember, Hawaii and Alaska were not states at that point. So you got nineteen fifty four license plates for every state, all forty eight states, for a dollar. No postage and handling trick or anything like that. A dollar. And I remember we had at the old Navy homestead uh, in the in the cellar in the beams. Dad had uh, had hung these up. I still have some somewhere, a few of them left. But that, yeah, it cracks me. It cracks me. I love this Tom and Jerry. It cracks me up. He's, here's poor Tom. He's trying. He's trying to. He's trying to drink his water with a straw, and uh, I think his name's Pixie. I think it was Pixie. Tuffy, Tuffy. So <laughs> it cracks me up. Just Jerry and Tuffy, they tied a knot in it. And uh, poor poor Tom's trying to, <laughs> he's trying, he's trying to <laughs> drink the water. It cracks me up. Oh, I'll tell you. Here's uh, Tom and Jerry 159 from October 1957. 57, I was three years old. Again, in the poly bag with the white backer board. Nice little Halloween uh, issue there. It's kind of... <laughs> it tops on the broom. <laughs> and, and Jerry and Pix here on the scrub brushes. Oh, it cracks me up, these college books. Oh, I tell you, this is fun. I'm having a blast doing this. So... I was kind of, I was kind of, I was, I was like in having anxieties this morning. I'm thinking about, you know, I had, all, I had nightmares last night, terrible about this procedure and I had all these nightmares. So I'm out here in the garage having a blast, uh, looking at my Tom and Jerry, sharing my Tom and Jerry's with my YouTube friends. It's fun. Ooh, the Mark II Jaguar. Schwinn. I had a Schwinn bike. There it is. Now, the Schwinn bike, because I had a, a little bike, 
But the Schwinn, dude, when, like I was, it was like um, sixth grade. And I had birthday money and Christmas money from grandma, grandpa, and aunts and uncles, you know, and I could save that, but I didn't have enough to buy. It was in Boonton, Boonton, New Jersey. They had a Western Auto store and they sold bicycles, but I didn't have enough money. So I mowed, I mowed lawns in the neighborhood. And, uh, oh, and also, <laughs> Mr. Bly, Mr. Bly uh, had this wood on, on Maybe Lane. He had this really, really wonderful shed. I mean, it was, I mean, shed. It was, it was like, like half the size of his house. And that was his woodwork. And he, he made a living doing woodworking. I mean, he, he had a living doing woodworking, you know, coffee tables and beautiful chairs and, and everything. So anyway, um, he, he, he had to have this young, young fellow, like, like high school guy or, you know, guy like between 18 and 22 helping him and uh, had all the soda bottles and they would, and they, would, and they, each soda bottle was two cents. So at the end of each week, they have a couple dozen, at least you know, a couple dozen soda bottles, and I'd put them in a little red wagon, and I'd bring them down, i <laughs> clean them all out, bring them down to Moe's Sweet Shop, two cents each, get a, get a, get a buck or two, you know. There's Tom and Jerry. And look at that, look at that bicycle. Now that's a bicycle. You got the light in the front, the white wall tires. That's a gem. The little thing, you can put your books there in the back. You put books in there in the front. You know, put go to Moe's Sweet Shop, get a comic book, put it in the back. And, you know, you don't have to fold it or anything. Schwinn bikes, the the Mark II Jaguar. That was a that was a gem of a bike, I'll tell you. Tom and Jerry, these are great comic books. These are great, great comic books. <laughs> it cracks the camera. Every cover cracks me up. They're so funny. <laughs> He's probably got uh, Jerry and Pixie. They got Tom's probably Tom's sunglasses. <laughs> Look at him. It cracks me up. So again, the poly board and the white board. I keep, I keep my comic books in good shape. I'm having a blast here. Oh, that's that's in beautiful shape here. Now each one of these are worth about 20, 30 bucks. So what do they got? Oh, let me see that there. This is from July of fifty-eight. So um, I was four, number 168. Oh, uh, hold on. I'm gonna, I, gotta, I gotta sneeze. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'm back. I had to sneeze. And I, and I figured, oh, it's kind of rude to sneeze on camera. So anyway, uh, Tom and Jerry. Now this is an ad for Juicy Fruit. Juicy Fruit chewing gum. They always had, you know, don't get hurt. Be smart, play safe. You know, little, 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 little rules for bicycling. Little public service announcement there from, there it is, Juicy Fruit. You don't see Juicy Fruit, much. I don't know, maybe they went out of business. Wrigley's Juicy Fruit. Ooh, another one here. <laughs> this cracks me. <laughs> it's Tom's lifting the weights and, and uh, Jerry and Pixie are swinging on the barbell. It, cra it cracks me up. It's so funny. Uh, let me see here now. Uh, it doesn't take much to entertain me. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, I'm, having, I'm, I'm having fun here. Let me see. How many have I done so far? One. This will be one, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got a big <laughs> I get that. I'm already 15 minutes into the okay let me see there it is here's now let me see what the this is number 183 October 1959 so I'm six years old and I'm in the first grade I'm in the first grade now here's a beautiful Schwinn Corvette Ooh, that's a that's a nice bicycle now you notice he didn't have the back the back carrier on this, but you kind of had a better light on this one, better headlamp on this one. And again, you know, go down to Moe's Sweet Shop, get yourself a comic book, you can put it right there. Get yourself a Mad Magazine, put it right there. It was from my, from the old Maybe Homestead to Moe's Sweet Shop was 
just about exactly a mile. And it was down a hill. It was downhill going to Moe's Sweet Shop. It was uphill coming home. What <laughs> a great time here. Ah. Models as low as 39 For 40 bucks, you could buy a beautiful bike back in 59 Look at that. Beautiful. That's in great shape. All right. Uh, I should do at least 10. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I don't know about, if I'll be able to. Tom and Jerry, 163, February 1958. He's cracked me up. He said, Tom's, <laughs> Tom's got his little model railroads and, uh, Pixie and Jerry are riding on the caboose. <laughs> it did everything to aggravate the guy. <laughs> it cracks me up. <laughs> oh. I, when I when I worked for the phone company, I, I had a bad habit. I'm not. I don't know if it's a bad habit or a good habit. But you know, uh, I cash my paycheck. So um, you know, help out with the household and all that kind of stuff and this and that and this and you know, pay some bills, so I'd have some extra extra, extra folding money. So I <laughs> put $20 bills in the comic books. Just like, you know, like like I figured down the line when I'm old and gray like now. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'd be reading the comic book and, oh, there's a $20 bill here, you know, like. So this is from, uh, this is number 163, February 58. So 58, 53, 58, February. I'm four. I'm four years old. Ooh, seven up. Seven up. You don't see seven up much anymore. There's the emblem, the uh, logo for seven up. And this is uh, what, you know, um, like Sam is like a he's like Eddie Haskell. I'll just do one here. It says uh, teacher would say students come to order immediately. So the Eddie Haskell guy, like you know from Leave It to Beaver, uh, Sam would say, "Okay, grubs, clam lips, play dead." <laughs> All this crazy stuff. <laughs> it's like the Eddie Haskell guy, you know. They crack me up. There's Seven Up. You know, you hardly ever see Seven Up anymore. Maybe they went out of business. They were a great soda. You just go down the from my house if you made from maybe Homestead on Route two hundred two. If you made a left, you go to Moe's Sweet Shop, and if you made a right down the block, about a block away, my cousin had a Sunoco station there, and uh, the real thick, thick, thick soda bottles. It was uh, I think fifteen cents, but if you drank it there. You know, you get your two cent deposit back right away. But if you came, we would bring the soda um, back to the back lot playing baseball. So then we'd have to go, we'd have to go back and get, go back and get our two cents. Uh, Tom and Jerry, let me see how many I've done so far. Uh, I got eighteen minutes here so far. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. People tell me you should rehearse this. <laughs> <laughs> I should rehearse these shows. Tom and Jerry 153 from April 1950. Oh, this cracks me. This one's in, not in too good of a shape. Tom's out there in the backyard, little table, little umbrella, and, and, and Jerry and, and uh, I want to say Pixie. Um, Jerry and uh, his buddy <laughs> playing golf the table <laughs> it cracks me up uh, here we go oxford 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 oxford's where they're gonna, we're gonna um, go to the uh uh flea market and sell some comic books what's in the back Ooh, scotch tape and they used to give you a little oh there were there were six you got a, a lion a whale, a hippopotamus, a frog, an alligator, and a snake. Let me see that. Scotch tape. And then each, you know, they had it attached and they would click. I remember I had I had a couple of these when I was a kid. 
I remember it well. They would click, like, kind of thing. So, yes, cover. This one's in pretty bad shape. This is uh, Tom and Jerry, 153, April, uh, April 1957. April 57. I'm three years old. So, as you can see, the cover's ripped. I might tape that up. I love I love the Tom and Jerry. I love I love <laughs> to take your camera started moving. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, two more. I'm 20 minutes into the show. Okay, Tom and Jerry, February. Oh, this is in beautiful shape. Hey, Tom's sleeping in the in the, uh Jerry and uh forget the it's Pixie or what? Cracks me up these comic books. Again, poly bag, white backer board. I take good care of my comic books. This is this thing. This one's on near near mint. Whoo! This is like right off the rack. Look at this is in beautiful shape. Look at that. That's in beautiful shape. That's that's near mint. Whoa! I'll be really careful with this. Number one seventy five, February fifty nine. I'm five years old and in kindergarten. This is in beautiful shape. Tuffy. Tuffy is Jerry's little buddy. And here we got another 7-Up. Fresh Up Freddy. He was like the, the little cartoon character for 7-Up. There's 7-Up. And there's Fresh Up Freddy. Fresh Up Freddy. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's kind of cute. Fresh Up Freddy with 7-Up. I guess he was a woodpecker or something. But anyway, look at that. Beautiful shape. That's in beautiful. That, that's, this is near mint. This is probably worth about uh, 100 bucks. Let me see what I got here now so far. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'll do one more. And then I'll do, I'll do um, some more Tom and Jer Jerry's later on. Tom and Jerry 165 from 1958. <laughs> it cracks me up. I can't help it. It cracks me up. It's Tom. He just baked the cake. And there's Jerry hitting him with a... Hitting him, hitting him with an arrow. Shooting an arrow at him. It cracks me up. Oh, this this is... this is. Uh, I was I was in high anxiety this morning. I said, oh, no. You know, I said, oh, let them... You know, they want to go through the arm, my brachial artery, as opposed to my femoral artery and the groin. So I'm really nervous. I had nightmares all last night. I said, oh, they foul it up, and I'll wake up dead. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Let's see what they got here. Number 165, April 58. So 58, I was four. And uh, look at that. This is in beautiful shape too. This isn't. This isn't. This is very fine near mint. It's in beautiful shape. In the back, they got Scotch tape, and there were there were free Aero Pets. Oh yeah, I remember this. So you had a frog, a doggy, a bunny, a goat, a tiger, and a squirrel. They always had like a like a little toy they put on the. Here's the Scotch tape, and they got the. The doggy, the bunny, the goat, the tiger, the squirrel, and frog. There you can flip it and it goes up in the air. <laughs> this is cool. So yeah, this is a this is a beautiful. This is in beautiful shape. These are all golden age, 1950s. So I probably got about in these 10 comics. Oh, I probably got <laughs> probably got five hundred dollars sitting here. Oh, thank you, Dad, for buying these. Let me see how many I've done so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten's good. And I'll do some more. I got, I got, I got about that much more to go. <laughs> Just Tom and Jerry's. So this was fun. So um, I'm going to sign off. And... Uh, um, Say a prayer for me. Send me good vibes, good energy. This coming Tuesday, going through the brachial artery. 
putting in two stents in the right coronary artery for the right 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 ventricle of my heart to go to the hospital be there bright and early i got to get up like four in the morning or five in the morning or something okay. so I'm, I'm gonna pack my little ditty bag today or tomorrow i got to clean the car clean the windshields do a little yard work put water in the bird baths the usual stuff so i gotta get around i gotta try and fix this thing it's just, this is driving me, this is driving me crazy <laughs> It's driving me nuts. So, all right, I'm going to sign off. So, um, uh, if you like this video, or even if you didn't like it, please smash the like button. Uh, leave some comments. I know I got to, I got to, I got to respond to comments. Is I've been burning the candle at both ends with all kinds of stuff I've been doing and going for cardiac tests and everything. That drive me nuts. So, and then, uh, and then, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, there's no trick. There's no jack in the box. It's totally free. Uh, hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell hit the bell and the bell will pop up is on the right hand side or just pops up automatically hit the bell and i'll let you know when i put up new videos so uh keep a good thought and i'm gonna sign off so stay happy stay positive stay healthy this is richard maybe signing off <laughs>